video showing the abducted schoolboys begging the government to come for their rescue, but not with force. Boko People releases a video showing hundreds of distraught Kankara boys begging the government not to use force. Balama Bukati, a Boko specialist at the Tony Blair Institute, have just broken the report where he stated that Boko people have just released a video showing hundreds of distraught Kankara boys begging the government not to use force but negotiate. He said in the tweet few minutes ago. According to him, Boko people leader Abuba Kashekau is adopting the method he used when Chibo girls were abducted by same Boko people. The security experts also noted that the mission of the insurgent group is to strike a deal where the exchange will be made that we see their members regarding freedom. Shekau is clearly replaying the Chibok propaganda model. He is doing this to get a ransom and free his detained members. In another worrisome tweet, Bukati said one of the kidnapped secondary school students have revealed in the video that some of his colleagues have died in the hands of their captive and they are pleading seriously for the government to intervene. One of the boys in the video said 520 were abducted by the Shekau boys, but some have died. He called on government to close all schools, dissolve vigilantes and pay a ransom. The boys look extremely worried, exhausted and hungry. At point, many started wailing, help us, help us, he said. In the last part, Shekau spoke in an audio saying they released this video for the purpose of those who denied his claim. He claimed yet again that they are doing God's work. This shows that the boys still in the Northwest and that they are being by Shekau's Zamfara cell. Thank you for listening to this news. Hmm. My dear, where are we? Where are we now? Where are we? We are nowhere. We are completely nowhere. Look at terrorists deciding for us. See terrorists playing us. This is how they played us during the time of uh, of uh, uh, of the Shaibo, the Chibo girls, and the Dapchi girls. <laughs> now is the Kankara boys. Can you imagine? These people have stunned Nigerian to a business center. Can you imagine? Well, this is what the administration has put us into. This is what this administration has cost for us. I thought the president is making us believe that as a one-time major, that he's going to use his experience in the army to close down the 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 uh, the uh, what's it called? He's going to use his experience to close down the Boko people. He boasted. He boasted it. He said it that the Boko people will not be heard again. Instead, the administration gave birth to more Boko people. Is this administration we started hearing about the jihadists? It is this administration that we started hearing about ISWAP and bandits. Jonathan administration gave birth to Boko people. But for us not to be deceived, they are all the same set of people. 
they only give themselves those different names for us to be confused and won't know where to follow. You look at it. Sometimes it will be the Boko people, sometimes it will be the bandits, sometimes it will be the jihadists, sometimes it will be the Iswap. <laughs> they are just using us for trade. Yeah. Didn't you see one video that uh, showed uh, their territory? Their territory where the where the leader control a whole community and slaughters uh, uh, seven cows for breakfast on daily basics. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? These people are really, really using us for trade. And that is why something needs to be done. Something needs to be done to put an end to this mess. Mm -hmm. You have to do something. If nothing is done, I'm afraid, this country of ours, this country of ours will be a forgotten place. <laughs> you will see it now. It's not by then say, we will all say it clearly. Something needs to be done. You understand? And quite unfortunate, the Buhari administration to do anything. They're not ready. Instead, they keep playing on us. They keep playing on us. And we, on our own side, we are just nervous and still very afraid. Don't know what to do. Don't know who to call. See the poor, see the poor Kankara boys crying and begging for rescue. What do you expect? What do you expect? That's the poor boys. Who are they going to call? Who? Nobody. 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 Except when the government are ready to intervene. But the government that we have are not ready to intervene. They are not ready to do anything. They are not ready to do anything. Is it, is it worry that is just relaxing? Relaxing. <laughs> oh. Okay. We are watching. We are watching. Let's see what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to happen. So, my dear viewers, we all need to come out and voice out. We all need to come out and voice out because if we don't come out and voice out, the government will abandon us. They will abandon us and they will abandon the people. You understand? So we must voice out. So please, your own opinion concerning this issue are very, very important. Deem it fit to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.